honestly y'all it was trying me and like look at that it's falling at the top but it's cute and it's tasty so that's that all right i'm gonna get started on the cake right now it's 8 30 in the morning so i'm probably gonna be a little quiet because i don't want my family here i have these two cake pans that i got from amazon and i think they're nine inch one box i got two boxes because i thought that one box would be i'm just spraying it and putting parchment paper so i thought that one box would be for like one nine inch but i think that two nine inches i might be able to use just one box so we'll see one third quarter cup of oil into the cake mix one and a quarter cup of water whisk to start up but again ideally i would have used a mixer but my family is sleeping so that's that guys this cake smells so good it smells like chocolate obviously it's a chocolate cake all right we got our two cake pan i'm just gonna fill it up maybe like a third of the pan because it's gonna rise up Cool. so we only needed one box for both cakes all right cake is out of the oven it looks so pretty guys so my cake was a fail basically i was gonna do the strawberry cheesecake um filling for the cake right but my hand mixer actually ended up like malfunctioning like it's not working so i ordered an actual stand mixer on amazon so i'm excited because we got a little upgrade right but with that being said the cake i just have to wait so i just put the cake in the freezer and then i'll probably work on it again this weekend all right we're back we're gonna work on our strawberry whipped cream cheese this is our new apparatus we're gonna see if it works well so this honestly i'm just going with vibes i'm not gonna measure anything i'm gonna start by whipping about half a block of room temperature cream cheese and i'm excited so we'll see i would always whip cream and number one i wouldn't wait long enough for it to actually form peaks so i would always get discouraged and stop because i thought i was doing it wrong but a quick tip is always to chill the bowl and the little um the little thing to mix you're gonna put both of them to chill in the freezer as well as your heavy cream like maybe 10 to 15 minutes in the fridge in the fridge and the freezer um, for it to get cold and that's going to help with your <laughs> Whipped up the cream cheese just a little bit to get it softer. I'm adding some powdered sugar. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of these ooh, strawberry preserves that I got from Trader Joe's. little bit and let's just mix this all together so now what I'm gonna do is add our heavy cream I'm using a pint of heavy cream oh and I just spilled it all over my sweater so we're gonna put it in here to mix again like I said like the key to heavy cream is to be patient so we're gonna be patient. I'm also gonna put half a packet of instant vanilla pudding mix in there to kind of stabilize everything. And we're gonna get to whipping, remember. <laughs> so this is what we have. I added a little bit of gel, of gel, um, of this Americolor soft gel paste in deep pink. I want the pink to um, stand out against the chocolate layers, like have a nice little contrast between the two. And Put this in a different bowl then i'm gonna wash this because we're gonna work on our buttercream next i start off with two cups of room temperature butter 
preferably you want it to be softer it's honestly it's not that soft it could be a little bit softer i think but you see it has like little indentation all right so i struggled a lot with this buttercream i'm not gonna lie just because i didn't leave the butter to get softer so avoid yourself a headache and please soften your butter before you do your buttercream and um now i'm gonna add three and a half I like three and a half. I don't like my buttercream too sweet, but some people do anywhere from like five to seven cups. I'm also gonna add a, I'm gonna add the powder sugar in intervals. So I'm gonna do a cup at a time, mix it, add another cup, mix it, add another cup, mix it. And then I'm also gonna throw in some, a cup of freeze dried strawberries in here as well. Add a big heaping cup of this freeze dried strawberries. Oh. buttercreams and also the whipped cream i'm gonna go put them away right now i'm gonna put some of this whipped cream in the middle all right i'm struggling a bit here guys my whipped cream is literally falling all over the table Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this cake is trying my patience. I do it because it's therapeutic, like watching the whole process come together, but I'll definitely tell you like sometimes it has its trying times and right now will be one of them. To chill for 30 to 20 minutes. It's been three hours since I've started this cake. I promise you, this cake is trying me. And I probably won't make another cake for a while because it's got me aggy. Time to do chocolate drizzle. I just melted some chocolate frosting because I'm not making no homemade ganache. Just letting it spill over. letting it land where it goes see how pretty it looks from here and look then what the hell happened here in the beginning it just started spilling crazy look at that look at that look at that Ooh, so cute all right we're almost done i'm gonna add some of these little star tips up here that i like oh great i want to add some strawberries i don't know where though maybe like on the side Just added three little strawberries to be and then i have these heart shaped macarons from trader joe's i think oh no it's melting no way great i'm throwing it in the fridge before it falls not that part literally that part just fell apart Anyways, we're gonna cut into it because I wanna try some. That's exactly what I wanted. You see like how cute the little chocolate with the strawberry. That is good. That was good cake. And to think I almost gave up. Look at the inside. How cute it is. 
get my double chin out of the way. Anyways, guys, this is the final cake. I hope you guys enjoyed baking with me. I can do more in the future. Or even like cook with me videos because cooking is easier than baking, honestly. Yeah, I really had fun doing this. And I wouldn't mind doing it again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Oh yes, oh yes.